I've seen so many TikToks lately of the like, oh, uh, I'm the friend who's dating, life stresses out my friends or something. Like their single friend or like the person who dates bad people is like always the person who keeps the friend group entertained, right? And I was just thinking like, it's a fun and joke but and whatnot, but we're getting people who are like very proud of this and they're coming on and talking about like, ah, oh, that's me, I'm the person who makes the bad dating choices. It's a cute and fun trend until y'all are married and you have to figure out how to leave the house because you don't have the funds and he turned out to not be as great a person as you thought. Where's the fun in that? And y'all don't see the red flags. Your friends who are always bringing around bad boyfriends are bad friends. Like, I'm sure they're suffering in their own way. You know, they have their problems because they have to deal with this individual, but they chose this individual. And because this is your friend and you care about them, you have to deal with this like negative person that your idiot friend brought into your life because they don't know how to make good choices. Here's the thing. What the, the thing that bothers me is they know it's a bad choice. They know it's bad for me to interact with this person. I don't want to interact with this person who doesn't treat me correctly. However, my friend is dating this idiot, you know, and you know, sometimes your boyfriends, it's not just that like, oh, they're rude to you and they only mistreat you. They're also rude to your friends too. You just don't see it or you may not notice it or just not tell them about it. And if you are the person who's always got boy drama, you are the bad friend. You are the worst friend imaginable. When your mind is completely wrapped up in, oh my God, this situation with Bobby, I need to make sure this is right. I can't focus on anything else until then because like, I'm just so anxious. You're the bad friend. It's kind of like the person who's always having a meltdown, the person who's always having a breakdown and needs the most attention, all the emotional labor in the group needs to, going to making sure this person is okay and whatnot. And that's exhausting. It's like, it's exhausting. I am 24 now and like, no. I think honestly that kind of behavior was really normal for like when I was like 19, 18. I am, I'm almost 20, I'm almost 25 now. My prefrontal cortex is almost fully formed. Okay, we can't be doing that anymore. I realized I don't wanna spend another second of my life talking to you about a guy that I know is not gonna be present in the next three months. And it's like, oh, I wonder what he thinks of me. I wonder if I wear this outfit, if he'll like me more. Trust me, he won't. Stop caring. Your friend who's always in relationship drama, it's such like, the energy in a situation like that is just so desperate. There's no other word for it. The word is desperate. And it's just pathetic to see your friends that way, all right? Let's just say it. it's it's pathetic to see them that way. And the reason why you lose your friends when you are boy crazy is not because they see you as competition. It's not because, oh, we don't have anything in common. It's not because they're rooting against you because they're tired of it like let's talk about the social political and economic state of the world please like have you ever t had a conversation that passed the Bechdel test like please have some standards for yourself do something because guess what I promise you that man you are crying over that you met at the club and he won't text you back I promise you will not care about him in five years why are you wasting my time now talking about him I have a life to live and I don't want to spend another second of it talking to people who are clearly making bad decisions in their dating lives for attention. Like if you are seriously that turbulent, if your dating history is that turbulent, do not be proud of it. Do not be proud of it. Because the thing is, I know people who actually do have turbulent dating histories and they keep that secret on them like a vice. If you're like doing it in a, ah, I'm just a girl way, you're just a problem. You're just a straight up problem, honey. Okay, you're wasting all of our time. You're wasting oxygen that trees are making. You know, please, let's, let's be mindful. Your boy crazy friend, especially if they have drama, they're very open to throwing you under the bus. They think that as your friend, you will understand somehow the gravity of the situation, the severity of this situation. Maybe it starts out as like, oh, let me make this little joke about you so that I can sound funny and they'll laugh. And then it snowballs into, oh, let's bring them to hang out with us. And then pretty soon you're not hanging out with them at all anymore. 
and this isn't just boys, you know, whoever your friend dates. If all they can talk about is their dating situation, you're going to get bored. You are not a therapist to anybody. They can get out of that relationship at any time. It is clearly causing them so much stress that it is negatively impacting their lives. They can afford to leave. They just choose not to. It's like, oh, well, I can't leave him because I have feelings for him. You have feelings for someone who causes you stress? That's crazy to me. So I used to be like a hopeless romantic. And then my brain developed a little bit more. You start to realize that the best partners are the people who are committed to being the best partners. The feeling of physical attraction and limerence, they wear off. If you plan on dating anyone for more than a year, you know, you can't rely on that. And I honestly think the majority of you are investing too much in romantic relationships and like not enough in friendships with people your own age, friendships with people who are committed to making themselves better. A lot of you have the same friends since, you know, you've been in preschool, kindergarten, elementary, whatever, high school. And then as a result, like they stay the same. And because you surround yourself with them, they're the same. So if you're gonna keep the stupid boy crazy friend or like relationship crazy friend around you, you're gonna eventually think maybe this is how I should react in my relationships. And it doesn't matter how much you look down upon them. You are the company you keep. You can sit there and be like, oh my God, it's so pathetic. She always talks about her boyfriend. Yeah, but why are you friends with her? If you are truly above all that, just go and be above all that. Just stop interacting with this energy leech. I don't know why people think their romantic problems are so interesting or so unique. They have to explain the same, like the same situation over and over and over again. They have to give every single stranger the full context. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Get a job, volunteer in your community. It's like feminism never happened. We all know like the, the friend who's like jealous of you. If you happen to be successful in your dating life and she is not, be prepared to have, like, don't ever try to celebrate with her. She will not celebrate with you because she's too busy thinking about her situation. When you're like, oh my God, my boyfriend got me flowers today and we had dinner. She's not like, wow, that sounds so lovely. She's like, I look as good as you. Why isn't that happening to me? It's because she's so fixated on finding validation from men. She's so fixated on a man being like, you're so pretty. I would want to be with you and only you forever. And it also can't just be one man for some reason. It has to be multiple. They need validation from any man. Like, you know that video of Cardi B when she's like making a vine and she's like, I hate when a nigga come around, right? And a bitch wanna change her voice, her tone and shit. Trying to talk all cute. You try to act all delicate, talking about like, oh my God, are you serious? Bitch, why you talking like that, bitch? Your voice is wild deep like fucking pop smoke. All of a sudden you motherfucking talking like Kim Kardashian. Stop fucking playing. That is y'all. And I want you to understand, when your friends are telling you about this behavior, it's not because, oh my God, they're hating on me. They hate how beautiful I am and the success I have with men. No one is jealous of you. There are very beautiful women, gorgeous drop dead women who have terrible lives and I would not switch a single day in their shoes. And if that's what you want, that's fine. Just know that nobody is jealous of you. People are only trying to look after you and mention what is in your best interest. If you're losing your friends while you're in a relationship, you need to examine yourself. It's not just like, oh, this person took me away from them, blah, blah, blah. You allowed yourself to be taken away from your friends. You allowed yourself to lose all of your friends in this relationship. Should I feel bad for you? Should I feel bad for you that you made your friends look bad just because you wanted to impress a man who now has blocked all your calls? I don't have friends like this. I have only known peace since I've gotten rid of friends like this because to them it's always a competition it's always a competition and it's only never a competition when they're winning if you live your life this way you're never winning 